we're going to go behind the scenes to see how the Baile Folklorico students are getting ready for their bare performance. Let's check it out. After almost two months since the Seal Beach Salon shootings, the city looks for ways to permanently commemorate the tragic day. On December 10th, there will be a musical healing event and plans for a memorial on the year anniversary are in development. Seal Beach residents have urged council members to consider a permanent memorial in memory of the victims. Since the implementation of the Seal Beach Victims Fund, 150,000 have been distributed to the families of the shooting victims. Hi, I'm Blanca Canales, and this is your DTN3 for Monday, October 24th. Momoar Gaddafi was killed in his hometown of Sir. Viewers, please be advised that the following image of Gaddafi's death are very disturbing. Gaddafi, who ruled Libya for 42 years, was killed. Questions still remain unanswered on how the 69-year-old was exactly killed. I'm I'm not any good of a dan I'm not a dancer at all. We should go some time. I, I might have to try it. You might have to take me. Okay, definitely. For some of us, the holiday season is a time to relax, and for others, it's simply a time to eat. If you're looking for, to find a new way to stay in shape, other than using your local gym, look no further than Fullerton. In fact, I had the chance to go see this myself. With more than 28 miles of recreational trails that spread throughout the city. Residents in Fullerton are finding themselves taking advantage of the beautiful scenery. It's become an ideal location for joggers, mountain bike riders, and pet owners. I'm here at the Juanita Cook Green Belt and Trail. This trail is about two miles long. And what is so interesting is that joggers or anyone who actually comes through here will walk under that bridge. So technically, they're under a street. The Juanita Cook Green Belt and Trail is the longest of all 19 trails. Parts of this trail intersect through residential neighborhoods allowing residents to work right in their backyard. And if you're worried that you may not be able to keep up with how far you've run, the trail offers a marker every quarter mile to let you know how far you've come. Bob Lopez has been jogging on the trails for more than 30 years and shares why he still continues to return. Away from running on streets, it's getting away from all the, uh, you know, it gives you a feeling of being out in the, in the wilderness. It's uh, got a lot of serenity out here. Sometimes I'll run out here and just stop and sit in one of the benches out here and just meditate or pray and, and just enjoy it. I just uh, enjoy the running and the community. The com there's a lot of camaraderie, a lot of people have been running the trails for years and years. Um, and you've always got people coming out here. It's always nice. Once the Juanita Cook Green Belt and Trail has ended, you'll come to the Bud Turner Trail. This trail is considered one of the easiest for joggers and known for its lakeside path as it makes its way to the Laguna Lake Park in Hermosa and Lakeside Drive. I caught up with one resident who enjoys to fish in the park. Fishing's pretty good here when the fishing is in. Um, usually lasts for about uh, two to three days if uh, the, the fish, uh, the, the birds don't eat them. Next time you're in the mood for a quick jog, make sure to check out the trails of Fullerton and don't forget to bring water, sunscreen, and a good pair of running shoes as you may stumble across some mud. For the Daily Titan, I'm Blanca Canales. Today we're going to go behind the scenes to see how the Baile Folklorico students are getting ready for their bare performance. Let's check it out. Most of our headpieces have combs. Some of them don't. The ones that don't, those are the ones that suck. Just warn you. 
But this one has a comb, so it makes it a lot easier. That's it for Monday's DT and 3. I'm Blanca Canales. Have a great week, Titans.